everybody, this is Kati Lasu here. Um, I kind of have my little plant in the way, but I think it gives it a little bit of an artistic design in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to encourage you guys today. Um, I heard a story on Caleb or Air One and it really inspired me. And I thought it would give you some encouragement and hope. There was a story, a true story about a woman that was homeless. And she basically created like a multi-million, well, I don't want to say multi-millionaire because that might not be true, but a very lucrative photography business while she was homeless. And um, she started off with just like little shots with like families and friends and stuff like that. And then eventually she grew into a, a photography business where she was doing married couples. And she's like one of the most world-renowned married um, photographers in the world, apparently, who does uh, marriage photography. And when they asked her, what is like one of the biggest takeaways? Like what is one of the things that you practice to go from homelessness into creating this amazing business that's super lucrative? And she said she just took big, big goals and broke them down every day into small bite-sized pieces. And it's just, it's kind of funny because I don't know if you ever had your mom tell you, oh, just little bites, like little, little small steps, baby steps, you know? If, if you were really overwhelmed with something in your life, whether it was like a big project at school or homework assignment or something like that, I always remember my mom used to say, baby step. And actually, it's very, the proof is in the pudding. It shows that with this woman who went from homelessness to a, a very successful career, her, her advice was basically the exact same thing. She took really, really large size goals and she said she broke them down into bite-sized pieces and just did the little small thing every single day and just focus on that and how much more so shall we do that in our relationship with god so instead of thinking oh i have to you know read the whole bible in a year what if every morning you just turn on your audio bible and that was the first thing that woke you up in the morning instead of thinking oh i'm going to burn my toast and have some you know <laughs> coffee or whatever even though coffee is a very beautiful gift for many of us, but what if you were to turn on your audio Bible and just start the day with waking up to the Bible, just a little bite-sized piece, and then you were to take a hot shower, and then use some luxurious, you know, beautiful <laughs> shampoo and, and soap, and then move on to the next little, little bite-sized thing. So just uh, remember today, um, God is so gentle and kind. The, the Bible says that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So go today with that yoke, easy, burden, light, and remember, if you're carrying anything heavy, just give it to Jesus. He wants to carry it for you. I love you, and he loves you more. Shalom.